Okay, first grade, you're finally going to be painting your turtles today. Now, when I think about a turtle, they are green. So we're going to use paints to paint your turtle green. Now, oil, um, not oil, clay is very porous, which means it has lots of tiny little holes that you and I can barely see, kind of like your skin. And that, those little holes will soak up moisture or water from your clay. So you can use a little bit more water than you normally would when you're painting with on paper. So this will also help getting all of the little textures and all the little spots colored in green. We don't want to have any white spots left. We want it to be all solid green. So adding a little bit more water to my brush to get in those little spots with the toes and at the front, any little textures that I stamped into my turtle, I'm going to be painting the whole thing green. I need to kind of turn my turtle around so I can see from different angles. How does this face look? How does the front look? I might paint the back or all the different edges. We want all of that white stuff to be covered up. So make sure you're looking at your turtle from lots of different angles and covering up all that white. get a little bit of paint on my hands first graders that's okay that happens in art class sometimes just use a blue rag at your table and wipe off your hands I need to get the side of my turtle, so holding him gently. Your turtle has been fired, so he's ceramic now, or she is ceramic now, but still, they're kind of fragile. So if you drop your turtle on the ground, there's a really good chance that they would break. Now, I can fix some breaks, first graders, but some breaks, if you really drop them hard, are hard to fix. So you want to make sure that you're handling your turtle with care and being responsible that you don't accidentally hold them too far up in the air and drop them. So I always keep two legs on the table when I'm turning my turtle so that he wouldn't drop too far. Now, like I said, your clay is very porous, so it's going to dry pretty quickly. It's going to suck up that water and that paint almost like a sponge. When your turtle is dry, you are going to choose a few oil pastels. And we know about oil pastels, they are really slippery and slidey. They can kind of layer colors. If we drop an oil pastel on the ground, we need to pick it up right away because they will make a big fat mess on the floor. Choose a few colors for your oil pastels that you would like your turtle shell to be. I think I'm gonna go with cool colors like the water. So purple and green and blue, those are my cool colors. You might want to go with hot colors, orange, yellow, or red. Those are my hot sun colors. It's up to you what colors you choose. I'm going to stick with the cool colors and I'm going to color my turtle shell with those cool colors. I noticed this kind of wave pattern. I'm going to paint color that wave in with purple oil pastel. So I'm being careful, just like coloring on paper. I'm outlining that shape and coloring slow next to the line and then fast in the middle. And slow next line in the middle. I think on the inside I'm going to use blue. When your turtle shell is colored in with oil pastels and the whole thing is painted green, you are going to carry it flat like a lunch tray, very careful not to drop over to the clay cart, and then get out your sketchbook. Your turtle shell should be totally colored in, even though it has green on the bottom. I might even layer my colors a little bit, do like some light purple along with the dark purple, so that I have some mix of colors. It's up to you what colors you choose. I'm going to see some textures coming through those still, and that's really good because texture is one of our elements of art. Journals have a lot of texture. 
All right, these turtles are gonna go into our library um, first graders. So we wanna make sure that we're coloring them in with really good craftsmanship, okay? Making sure we're coloring in slow, our oil pastel is not moving too fast. All right, my turtle's looking pretty good. I'm gonna carry him to the cart.